Hey everybody, it's Kayla. Um, I'm reporting to you guys today because tomorrow I'll be getting a BC. And I've been thinking about going natural for about a year now, but I've only been transitioning for about four or five months. And I can see the changes. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm scared. I'm anxious. I'm happy. I'm just, I'm ready. Uh, it's just a roller coaster, but I mean, it's been a, a pretty good journey. I'm just anxious. I've been watching a lot of the videos that you girls have been posting, and it's really been helping me out a lot because there are a lot of emotions that go into chopping off your hair, something that you're used to, something that you're attached to, ways of life that you've been thinking were the only set ways for you to go. And I've been a process girl all my life. I never thought that there was another way. But watching some of the videos that the people posted really opened my eyes to see that yes, I want my own hair. I want healthy hair. I want to go natural. So I'm guessing this is the road for me to go. So I will be going to the beauty shop at 8.30 in the morning to get my BC done. And I'm not really that excited about which is your teeny weeny afro but I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to turn out how I imagine it will turn out um, my transition period has been pretty good besides the two textures of hair it hasn't been that bad because I don't have a horrible breed of hair um, I just recently did my first cut which is why I'm looking the way I'm looking now it, yeah it's, it's blown now, but I haven't been doing much to it because I've been preparing to get my cut. So I've just been letting it do its own thing. I've been wearing a ponytail, and um, from that I can see about a an, an inch or so of new growth. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it stops at about here. It weighs up if I put water on it, if I pull it back in a ponytail, but the rest is just perm. But... It's, it's about an inch of new growth that I can see. Um, I'm just really excited. And I will be coming back to you guys to show you a little bit of my journey and to show you the the end result of what my hair is going to look like. Pray for me. I'm real, real scared. Um, hopefully I can either record my full BC while I'm in the shop or I'll just come back to you guys and um, show you the finished product. I really don't know what to say. Um, I'm just really excited that I'm going through with it. I'm scared. It takes a lot of balls to do it because our community thinks, well, most of them still are in the mindset of no straight hair. Then, I mean, it's not, it's not what's up. You know what I mean? Guys, you know, they're so used to the weaves and the perms and the straight hair and all this and that. You just feel like people won't accept it. But I'm I'm past that stage. I feel like I'm strong enough to deal with it. So it's not a big deal. I've always been, you know, outgoing and daring and doing different things with my hair. So I'm not really worried about it. It is a big step. So if I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed with what the style looks like, then, you know, I will pull out a wig in a minute or I will bust. Um, a sew-in or some braids just to get through the growth period of my hair but I'm really really excited so I will be coming back to show you guys what it actually looks like um, thank you for watching if you are and if you're thinking about it if this is what you want then do it because my mom my mom is one of the people I go to for a lot of things and it took her a minute to you know to get on board with what I wanted to do, but she's behind me now, so it means a lot. You don't have to be scared. Just do what you feel like you need to do for yourself, and if healthy route, if the healthy route is the way for you to go, then choose natural. I know it's hard, but just be strong. I'll be coming back with the finished product, hopefully tomorrow, and this, this is no more, no more. Bye.